What's going on everybody? I'm going to be going over everything for the Star Wars event going on today or tomorrow depending on when you're seeing this. It will most likely be the day of the event. I'm going to be posting a lot of videos throughout this week so stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe. We are almost at 1000 and without further ado, let's get started. Starting with the Rocket Racing tab in the item shop, we have the Beskar bundle. This will include a lot of decals and various wheel styles as you can see on screen right now we are also getting Darth Maul themed wheels for 700 V bucks and a lightsaber boost for 400 V bucks rock racing will also have two sets of Star Wars related quests completing seven of these quests will earn you a battle pass level up and completing 14 will earn you the pod racing inspired energy binders trail Completing four of the May the 4th quests will earn you Anakin's Pod Racer decal, and completing eight will earn you Darth Maul's decal. Over to the festival tab, we have the Mad About Me bundle at 1,200 V Bucks. This includes the Nalargon, Kitar, Andorian, Drum Kit, and Cantina Band Jam Track. Fortnite Festival will also be getting Star Wars quests like Rock Racing completing 7 will get you the 7 string Halic set guitar. For Jam Stage we are getting a new area inspired by Moss Eisley's famous cantina on screen is that area right now. For Normal Barriel, the Star Wars tab we are getting Dagobah Luke and he will be 1200 V-Bucks with a Lego style. Yoda's gear bundle will be 1000 V-Bucks and this will include Yoda as a back bling and Yoda's cane for a pickaxe. Lando Calrissian will be a bundle for 1800 V-Bucks and will have a Cloud City model back bling. Lando will also be getting his Vibro Axe in this bundle which can be purchased separately for 800 V-Bucks. And Lando Calrissian will be 1,500 V-Bucks with a Lego style if you just want the skin. There will be a AWR Trooper for 1,500 V-Bucks with a wrap included with the skin and a Lego style of course along with it. Disassembled C-3PO back bling for 500 V-Bucks and finally a little AT-AT emote which will probably be Traversal, also being 500 V-Bucks. Chewbacca and his Lego style also joins Fortnite, but we'll get back to him a little later. Chewbacca's Bowcaster will be an item you can find around the map in Imperial Chess. Vader will have three landing zones. Again, defeating him will give you his lightsaber, which you can throw and block bullets. Along with Vader's lightsaber, the E-11 blasters will make a return. I don't know if the DC-15 blast rifle or the lightsabers with their respective force powers are coming back, but we'll have to wait and see. Also things are returning, we are getting the Olympus Mythics back that are the Zeus, Lightning Bolt, Hades Chain, and Icarus's Wings, so stay tuned for those. Battle Royale will also receive Star Wars Quest, completing 5 will grant you a Battle Pass level once again, and completing 10 will grant you the AWR pack back bling. Lastly, LEGO is getting its biggest update so far. Tomorrow, LEGO Star Wars decor bundles will be available in the LEGO tab in the item shop. They are priced at around 250 to 750 V-Bucks per bundle. I don't know how many bundles there are, but according to leakers, we are getting 142 decor items. So I'm thinking around like four to five bundles. There are also a Lego mini pass that you can get as well. You get 10 decor bundles and a Moss Isley Marketplace build for the free track. The premium track, you get Chewbacca, four decor bundles and seven builds and how you progress through that is by completing quests you will start getting studs and those studs will help you progress through the lego pass when you load into a world a new one or old there will be a new place within that island for you to explore from what epic says this island and its content will stay forever even after the event is over which is pretty nice 
Within this new island, you help the rebels make a new rebel headquarters. How you do this, my ask? You will be completing objectives, fending off the empire, as the empire is also trying to make your world theirs by destroying your builds, taking over builds. So you want to make sure you're prepared for this. How you start all this is a little confusing. You have to find something called plastoid, which is probably a material used to make a rebel workbench. And then you need to go make a macro binocular, which you use to go find the rebel base or the rebel village, sorry. Uh, and then along this journey, you'll find more materials and then find recipes in order to craft a bowcaster, DL44, E11 thermal detonators, and also lightsabers, which yes, you can change the colors of. However, the lightsabers aren't permanent. And what I mean by that is you can't use the lightsaber all the time. Apparently there is a cooldown on it. Whenever you turn it on, the timer starts and then the timer will end and then it will have to recharge again. So use it wisely. Tomorrow I'll be going through everything. So be sure to subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.